Hello everyone, this is Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. And today we're going to take a look at printing and excluding errors when you print. And let me explain. Here we have a little chart uh, with some sales folks and their territories and values relative to those territories. But as you can see, um, for Bill, Territory 5 and 6, we just put an NA because it's not applicable. Same with Fred and Territory number 6 for Jane. Now I want to take these values and, can, and move them down into this cell, uh, this uh, range down here, multiplying them times the 75% discount. So a simple formula, formula would be uh, that. I'm going to use my F4 key to make that an uh, absolute uh, reference and then multiply that times uh, the appropriate cell above and it gives me my discounted amount copy that over and down and it properly calculates all those cells except I have errors down where I had NA because that multiplied times the discount is not something that Excel can calculate. Now in a small um, range like this I can go through and manually delete these uh, but if you had a much larger range where these were scattered out uh, throughout, uh, throughout the whole uh, area range and you didn't want to go through that process and you were going to print out this document and you just wanted to print this with no uh, errors there and just leave them blank, Excel gives you a great way to do that. So I'm going to just go ahead and set my pr print area, going to the Page Layout tab, Print Area, and set that. And then I'm going to go over to File, to my Backstage, hit Print, and you can see that they are gone. How did we do that? Went to Page Setup, and under the Sheet tab, there is a command that says Cell Errors As, and I chose Blank. If I had them as displayed, it would show the errors in my Print Preview and ultimately in my Print, but by going to the sheet tab under the page setup dialog box under cell errors changing it to blank hitting OK now those are blank I didn't have to go through and manually remove them or edit them or create some kind of more complex formula for a printed document and uh, it's that simple and I hope that's useful to you thanks a lot for watching our blog post and if you'd like to see more please go to excel-bytes.com and please feel free to subscribe to my blog. Happy Excelling!